Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a pack with me and three days ago we found out that we're gonna go to Milan Fashion Week. I mean, I'm shocked. I actually never thought that I was gonna go to Fashion Week this year at all. So when I got the news, I started freaking out because I had to plan everything in just a couple of days. So we're leaving tonight. Yes, I'm packing the day that I'm leaving. It's just because I've been trying to fix everything. We had to buy the plane tickets. The hotels were already full. Like, Milan is full. I don't even know how to explain the level level of stress that I have right now like my eye has been twitching for the last two days and I've been trying to just catch up on everything like work school so I can actually go I of course asked for all the proper permissions that I had to ask in order for me to be able to attend fashion week so so today's video is gonna be a little bit different it's definitely gonna be very very chatty not straight to the point I don't even know why I'm filming this but I wanted to take you guys with me through the entire process of going because it's my first time going to to fashion week and it's very very special for me so if you're interested in that please grab your coffee grab your drink and let's get into this If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lou and I make videos about handbag shoes and traveling, but mainly handbags. So if you like any of those topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'm probably gonna change because I'm most gonna likely spill something on this one and I don't wanna do that. So for some backstory, we got invited to Fashion Week three days ago. We got the invite for a small event for Bulgari, but I don't know, like when I got the Bulgari invite, I was like you know that I'm going I don't know fashion week has been the type of thing that I never really thought that I was gonna be able to go so even if it's not like the most massive of the shows I think that when it comes to fashion week in order for you to actually access other shows you need to already be there so I'm gonna definitely go try my luck and if not I'm gonna take this as a amazing relaxing trip to Milan I love Milan I've been there before with Polo and I honestly really really liked it so yeah we're gonna see what happens this is honestly crazy that we're actually thinking of going Polo is gonna come with me we took all the extra steps that we had to take in order to settle everything like I've been overworking this past week and I will be working there at night and I will also be taking my online classes at night like at 1 a.m. 2 a.m. just because of the time zone difference but that's fine I'm very much willing to make that sacrifice because this is like I cannot even explain how big this is for me when the year started I had like this couple of things that you kind of want to accomplish and I divided by sections like I usually have like the ones that I know that I'm gonna achieve example I want to drink more water I want to graduate I know that I'm gonna graduate this year I want to move I know that I'm gonna move this year then I have like the okay maybe this happens and it would be really cool and it can be like working with a specific brand getting another dog buying I don't know this bag you know things like that that you kind of kind of have control over it but you don't know if it's gonna happen and I then had the unreachable type of goals and one of those goals was actually going to fashion week but September because I was gonna be already like in Europe living in Europe when the next fashion week started like it's in September so I was just gonna be there and try to land a show or something so when this happened I was flipping because I didn't ever expect to go I'm definitely scared I know that you guys know that I have social anxiety and anxiety overall so I I'm scared. I don't know if you guys know what imposter syndrome is, but I definitely don't know what I'm gonna be doing there. I don't know anyone. I don't have friends in the business really that are gonna be there. I mean, I sometimes talk to some people, but we're not like super close friends that I don't really think that we're gonna meet. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this pretty much by myself. So I'm gonna try to vlog and take you guys with me. I do want you guys to understand that I'm gonna be like shy and probably very excited, but I am I'm very quiet usually when I'm in new settings so I don't know I'm really scared I'm honestly super scared so I already packed my clothing that you're not gonna see here because I took pretty much anything that I could think of because I have no idea what I'm gonna be wearing I'm scared about that I think I'm gonna figure it out the days beforehand the bullery event is like the third day or second day that we're gonna be in Milan so yeah even finding a flight was super complicated we tried to upgrade because we're gonna be arriving super super tired but it was all full so let's see what we can do at the airport we're gonna leave tonight right now it's like 9 30 a.m. and we're gonna be leaving 
leaving for the airport like at 5 so let's pack the first thing that I decided that I wanted to take with me is my vintage Kelly in the 28 size the reason why I want to take it is because I already took my black Kelly to Paris and I want to like give them all the chance to have a trip but I also want to implement uh, different bags into my fit like like different really not that really you know I'm gonna be taking my favorite bags probably but I take most of my content when I'm traveling so I do get a lot of comments usually on my Instagram account like oh my god I didn't know that you were in New York and it's actually just an old photo of a trip but when I'm here because I'm finishing my degree and I'm also working it's really hard for me to actually take content so I usually take my content when I'm out so that's an explanation for you if you always see that I'm in Paris or in New York it was probably a long trip where I took a lot of content hence why I'm always somewhere but I'm probably mostly at home so don't believe everything you see on social media and I will be taking my bags in my remova let's just choose first the bags that I'm gonna take I have thought about it but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that so I have here the bags that I think that I'm gonna take but I may change them for anyone that's back there so I want to take my Kelly I think that I'm gonna take this one like on my hand during the flight I don't know I'm considering taking my Deville and putting my Kelly inside my Deville but I don't know if I'm gonna do that just because I just wanna I just wanna have it easy I know that Paul is gonna be taking a portfolio where he can have my computer so I don't know if I'm gonna take my Deville or just my Kelly because I don't wanna be like carrying around a lot of things because we're also gonna be having a scale we're gonna be flying from here to Paris and then Paris to Milan we still don't know if we're gonna be staying a little bit longer for Paris Fashion Week I'll probably let you guys know if that happens if that happens I would be thrilled because I love going to Paris but we're gonna be taking the Kelly because the Birkin went to Paris in Spain last time so yeah that's my thought process around it so this is gonna be the bag that I will be having my phone and my wallet and everything so I'm gonna put this one back here of course I'm gonna take one Birkin like come on but since I'm taking the black Kelly I wanted to bring with me of course my gold Birkin so this bag is definitely gonna be coming with me I also thought about bringing my Ver the Glee Kelly with me but I've been using that one a lot for trips and I'm gonna bring another green bag so I don't want to clash them too much and I don't want to bring so many bags I mean I want to probably use one bag per day to take the maximum content that I can like for outfits and pictures for Instagram but also I don't want to use like the same bag if we're going to shows like I, I already told you so far we're going to two but but who knows maybe we can get invited to more while we're there I don't expect much out of the trip like I don't want to expect much because I don't want to be sad if that doesn't happen but I'm already super grateful and I mean I already cannot believe that I'm going to the show that I'm going so yeah the next bag that I want to take is of course I want to give this bag its first use I still haven't taken this bag out because since I unboxed it it's been crazy here so definitely she's coming I don't know which outfits I'm gonna pair it with I really just I usually do this I try things on and then I pack them like in outfits already set up apart for me but this time I just pushed and shoved everything inside my remover everything that I could fit in I put inside and I'm gonna figure it out there in any case I can go and buy something if I'm missing for an outfit but I took everything that I could we were very naive thinking that we were both going to go in only one check-in because you know guys usually don't take that much with them but I was wrong like he did did bring a lot of stuff because I think he's also a little bit nervous to be like in those settings we both have our respective checking luggages so yeah I have everything that I could probably want um, clothing wise that I have but I don't know I honestly I don't even know what I'm bringing with me at this point but this one is coming alongside with the vintage Kelly and the Birkin 25 in gold so this is the other dilemma that I have I don't know what I'm gonna do about this but Okay, this one is coming, the white classic flap. I'm gonna take all my bags inside their dust bags and inside the remover. And the last one is the one that I'm doubting if I should take my black classic flap that it's right there or if I should take this one because I'm already taking the gold Birkin but at the same time, I mean, I don't know. I don't wanna take too many bags because then I get a little bit overwhelmed and paranoid about them because I usually put them inside the remover and I put the passcode on it and I put it inside like underneath the bed or something. So that's how I usually know that my bags are safe and I have air tags on each and every single bag. I would ask you guys to vote, but you're gonna see this after I'm back. So, <laughs> caramel classic flop or black classic flop? I don't know. I think I have enough pictures with my black classic flop, so I think that's why I really wanna take this one. But let's 
put them inside the remover. Do you guys want to hear something funny? Because I feel really stupid because of this. Um, I'm definitely emotionally dependent on my Dyson Airwrap since the day that I bought it. It's what I do my hair with every single day. And I just realized that I bought it and it's not gonna work for me ever in Euro because I looked online and they say that you can use an electricity transformer because in America we have 110 and in Europe you have 220 so if I would plug it in it would just implode probably and not even Dyson recommends you to use it long term with a transformer and when I went to try to buy a transformer the thing was like this size like or bigger and I was not gonna take all of that with me on the plane just to use my hair dryer so I might gonna have to sell it and buy a new one because I bought one for 110 when in just like two or three months I'm gonna be moving to somewhere where I'm gonna need 220 and I cannot take it so I have no idea how I'm gonna do my hair because I definitely feel like I need it so I'm gonna probably go and find somewhere the Revlon one step voluminizer I think it's a great tool like I used to use it before my Dyson for years it's not as good but it's good so I hope that I can find it so yeah I did screw up on that quite a lot okay so I'm just gonna put them inside and this time since I'm not bringing two workers this one is gonna go on the bottom so it doesn't like press on the other bags I'm gonna take a little video of how I'm doing it so you guys can see because I know that the camera is not looking this way okay so this is how i put them together like the birkin is here this is going to be the side that's going to be rolling and the two classic flaps fit standing up here and the other one fits perfectly here like none of them are actually being like squished in um they have plenty of space in there like and i have put some things in here so they don't like it's fine i assure that they're fine and yeah this how they're gonna fly so now with the bags out of the way that i'm still considering taking the black class I, I should not take it if i need a black bag and i'm gonna use my kelly but is the kelly because it's big it's a 28 is it formal enough for the outfit that i want to take to the bulgari event is it formal enough is it too big i'm scared because i know that i'm not up to the level i don't even know what i'm gonna be wearing i'm i'm gonna cry the day before probably most probably i don't know how influencers take the pressure of these types of things because i know that fashion weeks are super like tiring for most people and yeah i definitely have a lot of insecurities that can come out when i'm there because i'm very very short i'm definitely not like the skinniest or the most knowledgeable with experience in the industry at all i kind of feel very brand new to this i think that i'm gonna feel a little bit out of place let's see so paul is gonna also bring a carry-on he doesn't really put anything inside he's a very very good boyfriend so he lets me put my stuff in his carry-on so i don't have to check it in so i'm gonna take my knees bb with my makeup and inside I have like, I can see the usual makeup brushes. If you wanna know my late favorites, like makeup wise, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter is what I usually use for my videos. And I don't want you guys to think that I have a perfect skin. Um, When it comes the time of the month, I definitely break out a lot and that just happened. And I don't know if you can see, but I have a pimple here and I'm breaking out here too, but makeup is really, really good. And also the lightning. So even though I do have a good skincare routine, I definitely cannot avoid breaking out every once in a while it usually happens when you least want it to happen so this one i don't know if you can actually tell but it's massive it's and it hurts a lot but yeah i'm also gonna be taking my fendi tights these ones and the other ones i have two pairs and i brought with me a lot of coats because i asked and it's actually quite cold right now in milan i prefer traveling during the summer because you can take more things with you dresses take way less space than a coat like i am bringing three coats and they take up half of the entire luggage and i have the large size like the removal large so i'm gonna pack my dior set too because i usually i like to change on the flight i don't know why but i always feel so dirty when i'm flying like right after i arrive i need to shower and i need to change like my clothing and wash my teeth and everything during the flight so so this is basically everything that i'm gonna take on this luggage because i don't want to squish the bags like they're my most precious cargo so this is 
it I'm gonna close it and the rest is gonna go somewhere else now I knew that I was gonna have a use for these shoes at some point this year and I was right so I'm definitely bringing them I don't know if I should bring my knee-high boots like the Jimmy Choo ones that I bought recently I don't know if I want to take them because they take so much space and I don't know if I have the outfit for it yet I don't know I think that I have to be super specific with my outfits I cannot just take like random stuff and wear it I mean I don't even know what I'm what we're gonna do with all the free time like we have by now we have two things to do only two and both of them are like an hour long so two hours out of like seven days that we're gonna be going I mean I I think we're gonna be just like eating walking around taking pictures I'm gonna change the topic of this trip it's not gonna be fashion week so I can be more calm because I can, I'm barely gonna do fashion week it's gonna be like dipping my toes a little bit on fashion week but being a tourist in Milan we're gonna see it like that I I'd rather see it like that I'm definitely gonna be taking my computer and my iPad I already downloaded a couple pull of things to watch on the plane we're watching downtown abbey and i thought that polo was gonna hate it but actually he's really really liking downtown abbey so we're downloading that and we're also watching the gilded age i think it's the name of the show it has a different name in spanish and of course we're watching euphoria i don't think that we're gonna be watching the last episode there because i actually watch it with friends like we do euphoria night and we hang out together and we order pizza and wine and that stuff and we watch it because i mean we, we love euphoria we're gonna be missing saying the last one so I'm gonna try to avoid social media that Sunday or Monday I don't want to know what happened but TikTok always finds a way to spoil things for me on every single show that I watch I don't know what I'm missing oh if you're gonna ask me about travel restrictions to Italy you just have to fill a form and be vaccinated and I think that if you're not vaccinated you need a negative COVID test we didn't need the negative test but we already took it because you want to know and we were negative what else I don't know what else to say on this video like I honestly don't even know why I'm filming this oh we are gonna have the trial test like I know that I already mentioned this before but I mean you guys want vlogs this is my type of vlog I guess my very very scary exam that I need to pass in order to graduate that exam is gonna be at the end of March and of course I'm dying I'm really really scared but we have the trial exam for that and that trial exam like they give you a chance to like try to take it and see how it goes it's on March 1st so we're gonna be taking that exam in Milan like at 1 a.m. but I mean this is like my way of thinking if I really do my best everything that I can like I know that going right now is crazy for both of us I'm actually very very blessed that Polo can come with me because alone I would be dying inside and freaking out I don't think that I could actually do this alone probably if I had a friend that could come with me but you know I rather have him with me and he takes my pictures and he's very supportive and I want to like vlog with him during the trip I don't promise an amazing spectacular vlog because I tend to get very nervous on these things so let's see how it goes but yeah I just see it like if I put enough effort this month that I have left here I'm gonna be very happy with the outcome so I may not sleep a lot but I definitely think that I'm gonna probably see results I hope so I'm doing really good with school so don't worry about that like I'm, I'm doing very well and with my job I would like they are very supportive like I'm very grateful for that because I know that not everyone can just leave and for YouTube like I mean this is part of the job this is what I want to do so yeah I don't know if I even had another topic to touch on oh the hotel the last thing the hotel it was a nightmare to find a hotel I reached out to Marriott because I've worked with Marriott before they were full for some of the dates that were gonna be there and I didn't want to switch hotels like staying in one and then moving to another I just want to arrive I want to settle down in a room I want to put all all my stuff and not have to touch it again so changing hotels was not an option for us we also talked to other hotel that was really really nice but again they could only host us for a couple of days so we're gonna stay at the oh my god did I just forget our hotel let me check NH hotel I think it's a really nice I've never been there and I hope that the stay is nice I'm definitely super excited to have some pasta I'm excited I needed this January and February were super stressful months um, work-wise and I know that I just came back from another trip but traveling for me it's so refreshing and makes me feel excited about things again and hopefully it puts me again on the right <laughs> mind setting that I need to finish this and start moving yeah I'm 
sad to leave Masha. I think that's one of the hardest parts of traveling for me, leaving her behind. And I wish that she was a smaller dog so I could take her with me, but yeah, she's gonna stay. And I'm a little bit sad about it, but I get pictures and videos of her every single day. And I'm happy that she stays like in her environment and her house and she sleeps in the bed and that stuff. So yeah, I don't know. I think this was it. I know that I wanted to talk about more stuff and I did not cover it because I just forgot it, but I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna finish this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching and chatting with me. I hope to see you next in Milan. I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can, I promise. So yeah, thank you. Love you guys. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. And yeah, thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.